Welcome back to Photoshop Basics on PSD Touch Plus. I'm Martin Perhiniak, and in this episode, we are going to learn how to use the pen tool. With the pen tool, you can do lots of things drawing shapes, making selections, or stroke parts. So it's a really versatile tool. But first, let's see how to work with it. And the first example is how to draw shapes. The pen tool is here in the toolbar in the section for vector tools. So now I select the pen tool and then you need to check the options here in the control bar. You can draw shapes or draw paths. These are the two first options. I will now draw shapes and for that you can choose a color that you would like to use for the shape. I will use a yellow color for this because I would like to draw this star shape. Now if you use the pen tool and click, you create an anchor point. If you click again on another point, you create a straight line. If you click again, you start to see a shape for after the third point. And if you continue clicking, you will create the shape itself by just simply clicking on these points. Now here we don't see the last point, but if we turn down the opacity of this layer a bit while we are drawing, we can easily finish the drawing by clicking here and then clicking on the first point to close the shape. After that I can turn back the opacity to 100. So that's a really fast way to use the pen tool to create straight lines and to create a shape. You can use the white arrow tool, which is the direct selection tool, to select points of this drawing separately and to move it around, make the shape even better, like this. With the selection tool, the path selection tool, which is the black arrow tool, you can move the shape itself. So it selects all the anchor points together. If you want to change the color of a shape, you can double click on this little thumbnail here for the shape layer and change the color there, for example, to blue. Or you can also use the keyboard shortcut. As you can see, I have the yellow color for my foreground color. I use all the backspace to colorize that shape layer. Now I go to the right and I show you now how to create curved lines in this example, I will create symmetric curved lines. It's a flower shape. So I will start here, click there, and then I click on the next point, but I click and drag to create a Bezier curve. And with these curves, you need to set these directional lines to have the curve that you want to use. Now, next time, if you just simply click, you will create a symmetric segment based on the directional lines that you use for the first segment. Now, next one, I need to click and drag again to create the directional lines like this. And because I have this symmetric segment here on the right, I can just simply click to create a symmetric part. So I now click again and drag to draw this curve part. Then I just simply click to create the symmetric part. I click again and drag and as you can see always the way that you move these directional lines affect the shape of the curve. So you need to always make sure that you position it in the right way and then on the last point I just simply click to close the path. Now I will change the color of this shape. I will use a purple color for this flower shape. Now we can go to the last example and I will use my pen tool again and I will start here on the top but before I start I change the color to green for this Christmas tree and I will click on the top and then I click and drag to create the first curve segment something like this but now if I click on the next one you see that because of the open segment we have a weird shape I don't want to have a curve like this. So I go back one step and instead of using the open directional line, now I would like to get rid of it because I don't have a symmetric curve in this case. So I will now Alt click or Option click on the middle point here to get rid of that open part. And then I click and drag on the next point. 
So if you don't have symmetric curves like with the, sh the, with the flower shape in the previous example, then you should always alt click in the middle and then continue drawing. And I will do the same here and continue drawing this shape. Alt click, click and drag, alt click in the middle, click and drag. And I show you another useful keyboard shortcut which is the shift key. If you press and hold the shift key you can draw easily straight lines but constrained for making horizontal or vertical lines only. After that I let go the shift key and I now click and drag to create a new curve. Then I alt click again and now I again turn down the opacity of the layer to be able to see these points here and to continue creating the shape. So I click and drag and then I alt click in the middle, click and drag, alt click, click and drag, alt click and then I click and drag up and that's the end of the closed shape. So now I turn back the opacity and I just change back this color to magenta for example, like this. So this is a quick and fast way to work with the pen tool and to draw with it. And to tell the truth, this is only what you need to know about the pen tool. So again, the useful keyboard shortcuts are the shift and the alt, but you can also use the control or command keys to move anchor points while you are drawing. If I have the pen tool selected and I press command, I will have the selection tool and I can move these points around. When I let go the command or control key, I get back to the pen tool. I would like to show you another example with the pen tool, how to create selections. And I will do that with this box here on the left. In some cases the background is very similar in colors to the foreground, so if you would like to select it with other tools it will be difficult, but you can also use the pen tool to create selections. The only thing that you should do is to switch to path drawing mode instead of using the shape drawing mode. So that's the second option here, I select that and I start clicking on the edges of the box quickly to make the selection with the pen tool. You can even draw curved lines, but in this case, I just need straight lines. And it's a bit difficult to see what I do because of the background, but you will see in a moment the end result. So I have the path and we also have a path panel where we can see the work path. If you right click anywhere with the pen tool, you can choose this option called make selection. And it will, if you click on OK, it will turn the path into a selection. And now we can make changes to this image. For example, we can save this selection as a mask for that layer. And now we hid all the other parts of the image. You can practice with the other part of this image and try to select the printer. There you will need to use also curved lines, not just straight lines. And the last example is how to stroke the pen tool's path. I will draw quickly a path around the mountaineer. Something like this. I use curved segments. Okay, so something like this, you, you're not, you don't really see this yet, but I will now switch to my brush tool, I select a color, I will use white in this case, I set the size of my brush, make it a little bit larger, and I use a hard edge brush, something like this. I also make sure that in my brush presets I have the shape dynamics turned on, and then I make a new layer, in the layers panel. I switch back to the pen tool, I right click on the image and I choose stroke path. And here with the stroke path options I will choose the tool brush and I check simulate pressure. And this is what you get, so Photoshop will follow the path with the brush tool and will create this on a new layer. I now press escape twice 
to get rid of the stroke itself. And I will now create a mask for this layer. So I click on add a pixel mask. Then I select my brush tool and I will draw over one part of this path. For example, here on top of his face, I will draw over that part with black like this. And then I will also draw over this part here just to hide it quickly. I zoom a little bit closer. Something like that. So now this line, it looks like it's around the mountain here. It's just a quick way again to use the masking as a creative feature. But as you can see, the pen tool is also a really versatile tool. You can use it for drawing shapes, creating selections or creating these stroke paths. And you can always save your shapes. I just quickly draw another one, selecting the, the option for drawing shapes. So if you draw a shape, you can always save that by going to the edit and choose define custom shape option. That will save your shape. And next time when you would like to use it, just go to this option here on the to top, custom shape tool, and then click here in the selector. And at the bottom, you will find your shape and you can easily use it to draw it again in smaller size, larger size and of course whatever color you would like to use for it. In the next episode I will also talk about a really useful feature in Photoshop, the clone stamp tool. I hope you enjoyed this part and see you next time. Thanks a lot for your attention.